12 most radioactive places on Earth. Number 12. Lake Karache. Lake Karache has been a dumping ground for one of the Soviet Union's bigger nuclear weapons facilities, and it could kill you if you even get close. This is not the place to go if you're looking for a lakeside cabin. It's so radioactive that if you were to stand next to the lake for one hour in 1990, you yourself would become radioactive and die within a matter of days. Located in Russia's Chelyabinsk Oblast region, near the border of Kazakhstan, it's been home to quite a few accidents, releasing a deadly cocktail of hazardous radioactive elements into the water. The lake has also been known to dry up and spread radioactive dust in the wind. Taking a swim here could be nothing short of a suicide attempt. Number 11. Church Rock, New Mexico This site is home to one of the worst uranium spills in the world. In July 1979, over a thousand tons of solid radioactive waste, 93 million gallons of acidic radioactive waste, and other pollutants flowed downstream into the Navajo Nation Indian Reservation. The local tribes used this river for irrigation and livestock, and then it later became contaminated. This river is still contaminated to this day. Number 10. The Somali Coast The Somali Coast has been home to a horrific number of illegal radioactive waste dumpings, especially by organized crime syndicates. For decades, Western companies have been dumping without regulation along its coastlines, mostly due to the lack of government stability in the area. They basically take advantage of Somalia not being able to protect their own shores creating horrific pollution. Here in this photo, we see two people attempting to contain a rusting barrel of supposed nuclear waste. This gives you an idea how hard it is to put an end to this ongoing problem. Number 9. Hanford Site, USA The Hanford Site is a decommissioned nuclear production facility that's operated on the Columbia River in Washington State. It was constructed synonymously with the Manhattan Project during World War II and is the first full-scale plutonium reactor in the world. It's also the place where the first nuclear bomb was ever constructed. They continued to construct nuclear weapons here up until the Cold War and many of them were not put to use. Leaks in this facility have caused much of the underground water to still be polluted to this day. It still contains many hazardous materials within its walls as well. Number 8. Sellafield, United Kingdom If you think you might want to swim in the Irish Sea, think again. The Stella Field nuclear decommissioning site is one of the most radioactive places in the world and the second most radioactive in Europe. It's here where they underwent the risky process of dismantling nuclear power plants in order to make them not radioactive. The site also has several radioactive storage sites for contaminated material. This site leaks over 2 million gallons of contaminated waste into the Irish Sea each day. This site gets a nickname as the world's plutonium capital Researchers are beginning to become highly concerned with this site and are noticing that the further you dig into the ground, the more poisonous levels become of accumulated waste. The Irish are beginning to get tired of this nuclear waste site and have been protesting like you see in this photo. Number 7. The semi palatinx Test Site In our Mutations Caused from Radiation video, we showed some of the horrific mutations caused by this highly radioactive place. Located in northeast Kazakhstan, it's also known as the Nuclear Polygon, and it was the primary venue for Soviet weapons testing during the Cold War. Nearly 456 nuclear tests were conducted in this small area, making it highly contaminated. The testing continued until 1991, and the truth about the high amount of radiation here was hidden from the public for decades. Nearly 700,000 people live in its surrounding areas, and it's believed that more than one-third suffer from health and birth defects like we see in this photo. Much of the waste from all the testing has not been properly disposed of, making some people worry that plutonium could be laying around here and end up in the wrong hands. Number 6. Fort d'Aubervilliers Originally constructed as fortification to protect Paris from ongoing attack in 1846, it's actually now one of the world's most radioactive places. It's here where some of the first tests on radioactivity were conducted. Frédéric and Irène joliot Curie both work with salts of radium-226. People had noticed a large amount of cancer in this area, especially in a school near the fort in 2002. High doses of radiation contamination appeared to be the only plausible explanation, and a study in 2006 confirmed the radioactivity. Number 5. McClure Radioactive Site A company looking to build some houses came across a startling discovery when surveying new land in Ontario, Canada. The McClure site was contaminated with high amounts of radium from industrial use, and a large amount of soil was contaminated. They found out later that the plant in the area was using radioactive scrap metal in the ground for experimental purposes. The researchers had wanted to see if the radioactivity would somehow accelerate plant growth. The experiments were obviously unsuccessful, but the remains of the contamination remain to this day. Some people have some crazy theories. 
Number 4. McGuire Air Force Base During the Cold War, America was quite eager to have the best nuclear arms of any country in the world. McGuire Air Force Base was seriously contaminated from weapons-grade plutonium in 1960. Located just south of Trenton, New Jersey, this was home to Launch Shelter 204 that stored nuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles. An unexpected explosion happened in a helium tank that caused a fire for the nuclear-tipped bomb arc missile. The fire burned for about 15 minutes and was later extinguished with water. This resulted in radioactive material and water to flow throughout the Air Force Base. Some pieces of debris were found a half mile from the explosion. It could have been much worse considering how close it came to populated areas. The contaminated area stretches an estimated 7 acres and is closed off with barbed wire fence. So don't even think about coming here. Number 3. Malu Su This place is one of the most polluted and radioactive sites in the world. Located in Kyrgyzstan, its radiation is derived from the large amount of uranium ore deposits. Mining operations from 1946 to 1968 left this place severely damaged. They managed to mine nearly 10,000 tons of uranium ore for the Soviet nuclear program. A landslide took place in 1958 and released 6,000 cubic meters of material from this mine, leaving radioactive particles all over the place. There's more than 20,000 times the amount of normal radiation at this location. When the mining operations ended, it left many people without jobs. It's believed that many settlers of this region put themselves in danger and attempted to sell the metal to scrap metal dealers. Number 2. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Chernobyl and Pripyat were both quickly evacuated after a horrific meltdown took place at the nuclear power plant reactor number 4 on April 26, 1986. People fled this area so quickly that many of them left behind their belongings. As a result of the meltdown, no one has been allowed to live here due to the high amounts of radiation set off from the explosion. The toxic cloud of particles affected a large area of Eastern Europe and some material was even found as far away as Switzerland. This photo here depicts what's known as the elephant foot, and it reminisces of the black lava firefighters found that oozed directly from the core of the power plant. This is basically molten radioactive lava, and certainly not something you want to get close to. Stand next to this thing for 300 seconds, and you only have two days to live. Although nature has been able to flourish here, mankind certainly won't be making their way back to this place anytime soon. And number one, Fukushima Power Plant. A tsunami that struck the coast of Japan in 2011 after an earthquake is possibly the worst nuclear power plant disaster since Chernobyl by a long shot. The reactors automatically shut down and the tsunami destroyed the emergency cooling generators caused it to overheat. This led to not one, not two, but three nuclear meltdowns and the releasing of radioactive material is all over the area. It was also given the level 7 classification by the International Nuclear Event Scale. This has led many people seriously concerned for their health in this area and eventually, a number of cancer victims could be through the roof. Radiation hotspots like this one in Kashiwa are completely closed off to the public. Radioactivity is now found much more often through the entire Pacific Ocean and has been causing mutations to plants and animals in many parts of the world. 